All right, y'all. It's October 13th, and we're back, going back to the same area I shot that doe and uh, hit her high. I uh, got another camera almost set. It's about four o'clock now. We need to get rolling. It's 4.03, so I brought the kayak, put in a different spot. That way I don't have to paddle as far. I can just paddle up just a little bit, and get out and go where I'm going. So uh, gonna shoot a doe or, you know, a decent buck comes by him as well. It's a little hot, day 83, but nice cool breeze. Out in the northwest, we just had a, finally a big rainstorm last night, which we much needed. Um, no doubt about it. So, we're going to get our stuff and uh, get rolling. So, catch y'all in the tree. Hey, uh, we're all set up. I'm pouring sweat. Holy cow. I just take up August, September out here. But, got that camera on. Uh, over made a mock grape and then nice little pinch point.
I've hunted quite a bit over the last few years, just off and on, and uh, always seem to see deer in here. Now, it doesn't mean we're going to tonight, but I think if I go back and look at my notes, about 95% of the time in the afternoons, I've seen deer in here. We just had a big cold front roll in. It's about a high of 65 today. It was 37 this morning. It's going to be down about 32, 33 tonight. Nice little west wind, about five to seven miles an hour blowing this way. The deer usually come from the left or just off the angle over here. And uh, the tree I met actually I shot at a doe last year right over here in Misters. Uh, she ducked me, shot right over her back. But it's always been a good spot. There's still a couple of persimmons hanging on this tree to my left. It's grown up in here a lot different than it's been in the past. Before I could see all this and shoot and all this, but this year I can't. So, so it is what it is. But still got a nice shoot lane here. Got one here. Got one here, and good little area over here behind me. So feeling good, and uh, they like it's gonna be a good afternoon. So y'all stay tuned.
pretty good chance I'm not going to see any deer now. Still cool to see. See something, I must get an opportunity. I don't know if I got that on film, but holy cow. That joker was not happy. I mean, he come tearing through here. I mean, hot. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That was a big <coughs> sour boar. I don't know what, but man, I had to sneak one in. I don't know if I got it on film, y'all. Had a quick second to make a shot there, y'all, so we're going to get down and see what we can find. Um, I saw him the knock, and then when he ran through here, it was gone, so... Hopefully he slung it out or something and didn't break my ear off, but I don't see it laying there. But we're going to get our stuff together and get down and see if we can't find him. So I'll keep you all posted when we get to the blood trail. Let's go, baby. Well, y'all, the bad luck <laughs> continues. So I don't know. I, you've seen in the footage, I mean, maybe a little back from center, maybe of that pig and go to the shot watch the video over and over and over to make sure you know i was at the right tree because it had got dark obviously i'll you know mark the tree i you know believed he was behind but it was getting pretty dark and then it was dark by the time i got over there so obviously it's a little harder to tell no blood um no error took my error and I saw where he broke some stuff where he ran through. I mean, I went over there and felt it, like some dog fin on stuff he broke off. It was still wet, so obviously it was what he broke. And no blood, nothing, no arrow. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Uh, and it's not a broadhead issue because that's a different broadhead. I was testing a new one today because you know, I've had plenty of love with my Magnus besides the bad shot I made in the dough, but just wanted to try something else. And I mean, still just can't can't catch a break. So I don't know. Um, I would obviously like to recover him and you know take and get him processed to get the meat off of it, but I, I can't do nothing. And the the thing with pigs for people that don't don't hunt pigs or you don't have pigs in your area if you wound one and you walk up on it in the dark it's still alive it can get it can get bad real quick um and i'm down here by myself nobody's hunting with me and uh yeah it, it, it can get pretty bad really quick on an injured injured hog like that so um i don't want to push my luck and walk through the thicket because it's head high so if he's laying there I'm not going to be able to see him until I walk up on him if I happen to walk up on him because I have nothing to go off of so um, 
I'm not thrilled about it, but it's part of bow hunting, unfortunately, and this is twice this year I've shot something. And the doe, like if you watch the doe video, I'm pretty sure she's still alive, so I'm not really bothered by that one. I made a bad shot, but hit her high enough in no man's land, I'm pretty sure she's fine. But the hogs are gonna die, and I'm pretty upset, you know, that I couldn't recover them at least and uh, get the meat off of them. So, but all we can do is keep trying, and hopefully, the luck turns around for me, and uh, hopefully, this doesn't happen on the next one. So, I appreciate y'all watching the video. Hey, if you if you like the content, hit the subscribe button. You know, hit the like button, share with a friend. We we keep it real with y'all. We're not gonna sugarcoat anything or you know hide these scenes of this stuff happening because this is the reality of hunting anybody that says this stuff does not happen to them they've either never hunted long enough or they haven't shot very many animals because it, it happens to everybody um, it's just the reality of bow hunting especially bow hunting so but hey i appreciate y'all watching watching we're going to be bringing y'all some more content hopefully with a different outcome on the next one and uh we greatly appreciate it catch y'all in the next one